all of us deal with emotions and sometimes we don't know how to come out of the feelings we're feeling because they're just way too much for us and we wanted to explode we wanted to go into emotion because emotion is driving us so we have a product or a what do you would say a process this that helps you to address that emotion quickly so jess is going to cover how to do it yes so first of all if we want to bring the bible into it it's based in isaiah 53 4 mm -hmm. speaking of yeshua or jesus surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of god and afflicted so the terms griefs and sorrows indicates emotions now if you break those words down in the hebrew they have a broader meaning than just emotions they they also mean some other things i'll let you do your research but they definitely do also involve the emotions and so recognizing that we are a three-part being spirit soul and body mm -hmm. all three parts of us have unique functions and aspects about them yeah. and the soul realm is the part of us that is an ongoing process in our lifetime upon this earth where it needs to be renewed to the truth it needs ongoing healing from past traumas and things like that but your spirit if you're born again and a believer and a christian your spirit will already be made new and perfect mm -hmm. and of course then if you want to toss in your body as a mm -hmm. afterthought will be resurrected someday in its perfection and glory in a, in a glorified state mm -hmm. however we're going to focus on your soul realm the part of you that gets triggered gets wounded by words and emotion feels emotions and feelings that keep you stuck and in a cycle and you can't get out of it and you want revenge on a person who hurt you and you're or Sorry to interrupt. Go for it. You know, sometimes you feel a feeling and you don't even know where it's coming from. It's just suddenly like hits you like, you know, like. Out of left field. Yeah. And it is so weird because you were happy, you were sinning, you were just fine. And then it happens and then this person comes to mind or even the just the situation maybe that comes to mind so I feel like you know what Jesse was just start saying is that it's because it's on the soul level it's it's painful right emotions can be extremely painful and you can't go on with your day so you you should probably maybe even stop there if you can excuse yourself from uh, from people if you're around people if you're in a car do it in the car if you're in the bathroom do it in the bathroom something that can give you that reset yes and we'll explain what you can do when you need to step away and deal with something that's going on, on the inside and this is very very simple prayer and first of all i want to recognize that emotions and feelings are a consequence or a result or a symptom of something else going on. Mm -hmm. They, the emotions are not a problem. They are your friend in a way because they reveal to you that something's going on. Something yes. needs to be dealt with. Mm -hmm. That's where, where we're going to go. So first of all, if you can identify the emotion or feeling, you're feeling great, but you don't have to. The father understands what you're feeling. If you yeah. feel, uh, and you don't know what uh is, he knows, he mm -hmm. understands. So it's not about, you know, nitpicking and, you know, identifying it down to the being all perfect and exact. Just recognize you're feeling off and name yeah. it if you can. It's for your sake that you need to name it so that you can give it something to like grab a hold of in your, in your heart. So you simply pray and say, Father, I feel, fill in the blank, whatever it is. Take away this feeling and emotion of, name it, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Heal this area of my soul. I receive your healing. Thank you for this healing. And give me instead, fill in the opposite of what you want to feel instead. Joy, mm -hmm. peace, and forgiveness. And you want to feel grace and love and mm -hmm. all of those things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if it, this doesn't work and you feel like you're stuck in your head, Ask yourself the question. Look yourself right in the eyes in the mirror and ask yourself the question. Do I want to feel like this? Obvious answer from your heart is no. Of course you don't want to feel like this. You just feel justified to feel like this because 
of the situation or the person that deserves punishment or they, you, you want to get revenge on them. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we need to focus on getting the soul wound healed. And then nine times out of 10, the need to forgive evap evaporates because it doesn't hurt anymore. And so you don't feel that way towards the person anymore. See, the reason forgiveness is difficult and challenging sometimes because it hurts. Deal with the hurt and then go into the forgiveness process. Mm -hmm. And so there's there's then a second step to this that we could cover more in depth on a, an additional video. But I will mention this, that if there's a deep-seated agreement with something that's not true, uh, that's based upon a past experience you had where you put up walls to protect yourself from that ever happening again. But then those walls, what they keep out, also keep in. The wall mm -hmm. works both ways. It doesn't allow healing in. It holds the wound in yeah. with an agreement or a lie or a current truth or that you believe to be true. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we need to go after praying this he emotional healing prayer, you still need to go into that process of identifying, OK, what is the, the lie or the current story that I am believing to be true that may not be? Mm -hmm. And flip the script and insert truth in there and declare that. Now, that will be more of a process of renewing your mind to the truth and yeah. exercising self-discipline of, of declaring the truth on a daily basis. And also forgiving people yes. in that. Yes. And if you feel, if you, and there's, there's a really cool forgiveness prayer that works really well if you do it out loud, especially if you have a witness. By the way, a witness to come into agreement with you is very powerful. You say, I release you i bless you you owe me nothing I, I forgive i release i bless you owe me nothing and use the person's name mm -hmm. like i would say for example irina i release i forgive you i release you i bless you and you owe me nothing mm -hmm. however if you say that to the person that can also then put something on that person mm -hmm. it's better to do this in private and speak it out into the atmosphere mm -hmm. it's uh, if you just walk up to a person and say uh, I forgive you for what you did to me. It has a mild undertone of accusation, right? Right. And, the, you know, a lot of times people who maybe hurt you didn't do it on, on purpose and they don't even know about it. So it's really not their thing to carry. It's something that you need to deal with yourself. And then your emotions and your actions will change towards that person. And also remember to forgive yourself because a lot of times, or actually all the time, you are in the mix there. And maybe there's something that you're blaming yourself on that and you need to forgive yourself as well. So do the same release prayer for yourself as well. And final note, this is very, very powerful and important. To seal the forgiveness and put a stamp on it, Mm -hmm. Go do a kind deed for the person that you have forgiven. Mm. If you do that, that will that will really break things off. Mm -hmm. You go do a kind deed for them mm -hmm. or say something nice to them, affirm them. That's blessing them, by the way. Yeah. Blessing somebody isn't just saying, I bless you. It's to go do a kind deed or something mm -hmm. for them to demonstrate with an act, a physical act of your will that you have forgiven it's not just words anymore you've taken your words and your faith into action and i i heard that um jewish people actually bake challah bread a braided bread and take it to the person that they forgave and need that kind of it's the reconciliation thing in a way so it's very interesting how that deed doing a good deed is is pretty wide internationally i guess mm -hmm. used in a way yeah all right hopefully this was helpful for you if you need a, a pdf or something of sort to look at we have them and um let us know in the comments that you want that and we'll send it to you all right be blessed